Hello my friends and welcome to some Sunday inspiration. Um, today is, I'm just going to totally blow your mind. I'm not working on an MDF board. I know. What? So um, I am working, this is a 9 by 12, isn't that right? 12? 9 by 12 um, a burlap canvas board solid canvas board they were on sale at Michael's for like two bucks for a pack of three of them so I thought you know what yeah let's try it so this is a 9 by 12 and I am actually creating today I'm it with like I have a friend who's had a birthday and I thought you know I need to make her something my poor friends that's all they get is art for their birthdays <laughs> they say they don't mind but anyway, so uh, that is kind of my thought process behind this, but it also has inspired some really great um, collage, a great collage pack too. So um, the collage, the um, papers that I'm using will be available in a collage pack for today. We've got, look at that, look at how cute. But um, this is, um, 1965 um, Greece map of Greece. It's got a little bit of Italy here, so I'm going to be using that. Um, I got. Let me show you what I got. Okay, so I found these old. Um, life books. They're from 1965. Um, so I got some great little goodies out of here. But um, that's where so a lot of this is coming from. I got a whole bunch of them, so I'll have a lot of nice, fun collage packs. But um, so a couple of book pages. Um, that. And then um, the other thing that I got which I so love and the reason some all of this has meaning for my friends but it's gonna make great um, it'll make a great collage pack but look at this 1953 it is um, Latin American dance book so merengue the calypso um, all the, the mambo yeah so anyway uh, my friend actually taught me how to merengue um, we love to dance together, so that's kind of, kind of that in the process of what I'm creating here. Um, so anyway, and I, you know, I just don't know how all of this is going to work and react with this burlap, but it'll, it could be a totally awesome or an epic failure. I'm not sure which one it will be, <laughs> but I'm going to be using also today some stamps just because I think it'll be easier for this um, project. Um, these are my um, stamps. They are, you can actually, I'm offering these um, as a set um, in my shop, or you can also, um, I have a little video as well with a bunch of different stamp designs that come with the video on how to make your own. So. Alright, now, I think that I'm, I'm going to be using that meme. I just, you know, I'm not sure exactly how all well this is going to be working on this, but we're going to, we are going to find out. I'm going to use some gesso, and that is about all I know at this point. So, let's get started.
Okay, so um, about halfway through here, and um, this has taken so long to dry. Everything is taking really long to dry on here. I'm not exactly sure why, but it's really challenging me because I'm not very patient. So um, trying to get this dry, um, and I did end up covering pretty much the whole thing with some matte medium just because you could kind of see the difference of where I'd put it and where I hadn't. Um, and I thought maybe it would help the paint go on smoother, which it doesn't. So um, this is really definitely a, there's a learning curve here working with this um, background. But I'm loving, loving how it's coming together.
All right, my friends, she is done. And I'm, I've got a frame that I picked up that I am going to put her in once she's dry, but I just got a plain old frame. Then I'm gonna give this as a gift. Um, but I am, I am very fortunate to have um, a group of people who I call my inner circle or my tribe, my friends, um, that um, we don't see each other absolutely all of the time, but when we, if we, we always know that we, if we throw out what we call the bat signal, um, it's our 911 call that um, I need you and everyone usually in the group drops what they've got going on and it's a priority. And um, we don't always get along, we don't always see eye to eye, but there's just some underlying um, ability to be vulnerable and to love um, even in the hard places. And um, if you do not have a tribe, an inner circle, a something, um, I just pray that you'll be able to find it, that you can put yourself in situations where you're able to meet new people. It's really hard. It is really hard to meet new people and find someone that um, has the time to um, spend and invest and be vulnerable and those kinds of things. But when you do find them, don't let them go. Hang on to them. And um, that's your place where you can be vulnerable and you can tell the truth and they can see all the ugly, ugly places and still love us in spite of ourselves. And that's the, the beauty of um, a really true friendship. All right, my friends, I hope you have a wonderful Sunday. I hope it's restful. Hopefully, maybe you'll get to spend some time with a true friend and be vulnerable. And I hope you know always that you are loved. Have a great Sunday. always happen just about the time everything that every time I try to uh, it just starts falling apart <laughs> hello so I thought I'd just jump in real quick and um, do a couple things you know how that goes you're like oh I've got a few minutes I'm going to get this done. It's just real simple. It's not going to involve any um, but paint. Really? Does that ever happen to me? For me? No. Because then I start doing some little thing and then it involves other things and then I get inspired and I get this really great idea. And then all of a sudden it involves paint. And I don't have an apron on and I ruin my clothes. It's my favorite, favorite shirt. Got back from the gym, and now my favorite gym shirt is ruined. 